welcome everyone to our talk shop uh, week three and there must be a reason why I'm having technical difficulties because I yeah. believe we wanted to give you bigger share screen to see our three beautiful handsome uh, gentlemen on a webinar right here <laughs> so uh, obviously Colton and Andrew uh, and myself are co-hosting and it's been a great handout session every Tuesday uh, yeah. so welcome you all back to our talk shop for sure so um, this week we are very excited to discuss more about you know obviously we always talk about knowledge is power and mm -hmm. it's really important to become a professional uh, in our business right uh, however yeah. we don't want to just always be the source of answers right we want to also leverage our beautiful tools and just to really be able to um, you know uh, leverage all of our company's uh, beautiful system to really create more leverage, right? I've always remember, Colton, your mom and dad always said, uh, scale up, right? Do things that can scale up. So uh, I guess we wanted to maybe invite, um, and we also have a really, really incredible, yeah. um, awesome business partner and a great leader, Wayne Chen from Flushing, New York, What's also up, joining man? us. Hey. And uh, Wayne has been a great business partner uh, of our team and I've had absolutely um, a great time and such honor dealing with him and uh, started the business in college and had a traditional business background as well but through this business uh, he and his wife Christina have became true um, uh, uh, examples of what personal development can do and also they've uh, really inspired and led an incredible team team that uh, build on solid product culture and from retail to recruit and really just building that solid love for the business. So love. now professional coordinator mm -hmm. and uh, wow. uh, duplicating. Congrats, yeah, so. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. The honor goes a so, little further uh, too. I'll give you a little behind the scenes of, of this, this interaction here and yeah. our, our communication here with Andrew, Olivia and I um, Andrew threw in there. We just need somebody that's like super, super, super smart this week. And yeah. uh, and Wayne, you are our person. There was a, a triple super. So you're like super, super, super smart man. You're a like superhero. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm flattered. Well, this is awesome. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. for some reason, I'm loving the technical difficulty on my end with the webcam because uh, uh -huh. that because I can see all of you and. You know, I'm just like totally consuming my uh, whatever weird faces and you don't know. <laughs> right. You know, sometimes these things happen, you know, like you get stuck in traffic. Are you in New York right now? I am in New York, but, uh, you know, there was just crazy traffic uh, downtown after a few appointments. And, you know, I just didn't want to be stuck in traffic and talking. So I decided to come into this hotel lobby, which is beautiful, but just uh, couldn't really get the webcam up. So anyway, oh, that's okay. enough well, about that. Thank you for uh, for joining. Uh, anyways, and um, yeah, we we got. I just want to do a quick shout out. We got now people joining us, not just from the U.S. and Canada. Um, of course, we got good old USA and Canada here. Oh, Welcome, y'all. Um, sure. Also, have people uh, listening in from Singapore and also Ooh. from Australia. Um, that's wow. from what I know of. So it's uh, yeah. Welcome. We're growing. This is well, cool. the community Thank here. This is great. Um, really, thanks to all of you guys for being so consistent and proactive and putting this together. Andrew uh, mm -hmm. definitely did a lot of behind the scene with the technology side and, you oh, know, Colton, everybody putting great uh, ideas. So, yeah. yeah, it's always a pleasure. So, okay. um, would you guys like to maybe start off with, um, you know, I'm sure we all had our own reason of uh, originally starting this business, but, you know, how has product been uh you know a big uh, component for your business and have you um gained a lot of belief or you know how has product changed your life and the business in general mm. okay uh I'll, I'll go first um product was, was was simple for me i took the product i took opc3 and vitamin c uh those were the first two products i was taking even before i started the business um, because my sponsor, Uncle Frank, shipped his box to my house because um, he didn't want his parents to find out that he. No way. Yeah. 
So he chucked it to me. It's like, here, you try this and try that. And I was on the product for about three months. And one day we go out for, um, for, for noodles. And uh, turns out Uncle Frank, like he said, I'll do all the ordering, right? So he orders everything. Um, he's like, you got to try this. It's really good. I had no idea what it was. And it came as this nice brown, dark brown soup with, with noodles in it. I was like, oh, okay, looks good. So I started eating and Frank was watching me the whole time. I'm like, Frank, aren't you gonna have some? Um, <laughs> and I kept staring. And Frank, um, meanwhile, he, he knows I've been struggling with a peanut allergy for 22 no. years of my life. Wow. Yeah. Um, not deathly allergic though, disclaimer, not deathly allergic. He just loves watching me, um, you know, get hives all over here. <laughs> And, uh, and all over my arms and uh, my throat closes a little bit but I still can breathe um, wow. so chugging like hot water or hot tea the whole night so he was watching the whole time and I was like Frank ain't you gonna have some and, and he, he says uh, he's like you know how, how that's peanut soup that you're drinking like that's peanut infested it's oh it's Tantan mean like the Chinese Wayne you probably know this um uh it's it's this peanut butter soup the, the spicy yep yeah I love it but um but yeah that's when I realized hey the products worked <laughs> <laughs> trial by fire man trial by fire yeah wow but don't try this at home folks yeah disclaimer mm -hmm. you know <laughs> disclaimer bam yeah. that's but it that's, we, that's we an incredible story yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's what that's what the product did to me. Uh, did did it changed my life? I, um, you know, now I'm eating Ferrero Rocher's. Uh, I don't know if that's how you say in it. Um, I'm eat, I'm oh, eating back in my data. Yeah. <laughs> that must have really changed your uh, life quite a lot because where are you from? Um, yeah. the, the cuisine actually, what Malaysian cuisine yeah. has a lot of peanuts in there, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I finally enjoy it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. How about you guys? Coden. Yeah, I, I grew up around the product. So when I actually launched my business, I wasn't sure what was Market America product versus not Market America product. It was just all that shampoo. Like I don't, you know, there there isn't another shampoo. That is shampoo. This is right. this is the one and only. Yeah. What else? What else do you use? You know. All right. Um, I obviously had seen other stuff, but but this was in my mind. I didn't know like Fix Shampoo or Royal Spa was something different. Like Snap Laundry Detergent was all we ever all we ever had. So I never. Right. You grew up with the good stuff. I grew up with the good stuff. Yeah, I didn't know you could actually have crappy products. So uh, that's was, that was my version of normal. In fifth grade, though, actually, funny on the on the allergies thing. In fifth grade, I had really bad allergies that, that kind of spiked up, and I was always on OPC three. I always had the one dose of OPC three. Um, but in like fifth grade, we moved to Nashville, Tennessee, and my allergies really picked up out there, and I was always like stuffed up, and sinuses were crazy, and. I'm actually went in for a couple surgeries on my nose for like um, clearing out nasal cavities and some stuff like that. They burned out. It was not wow. a fun time. And, uh, and so I remember my parents upping my dosage on the OPC three to three doses in the morning. Uh -huh. Instantly, I was like 100% better. I mean, within five minutes, I felt a dramatic effect. And so that's why I always tell everybody if they still have allergy issues, I'm like, just triple your dose, like triple it up. Mm -hmm. It's a phenomenal product and right. uh, you need to get it, you know. In your into your system uh, thoroughly but that opc3 that's you know funny that was andrew's story that's also my story with the, the allergies but i've seen people you know have had um bi bigger issues than just allergies that it, it helped with as well from mm. arthritis and other itises as well but this was my first one was allergies for sure yeah wow oh mocha tonics, that's like a daily thing for me like i have to have my mocha tonics people are always like how do you have so much energy i'm like me too how do you, in the afternoon, you'll always have energy. I promise you that. How do you make your mocha tonics? I am considered the mocha tonic queen in our area. Like I make the best mocha. Yes. Right, Wayne? Yes. Yeah. So yes. Colton. I grew up how with you... our mocha tonics in this <laughs> this is more incentive to come out then, I guess. I, I gotta try this this Olivia concoction here. Um yes. I always just make it straight, except for on a day that I know is gonna be a big day. I actually mix it with coffee. Um I call it a mocha joe. So I moved my coffee and it's, it's pretty good. That sounds good. Well, it tastes really awesome with our trim cafe. Uh, and have Most you tried? Really sweet though, right? Yeah. Sorry. It's really sweet though, right? Mocha tonics. Exactly. That's why for some people they love it. Um, or for me, I prefer a slightly bitter taste. So I mix it with 
Uh, the chocolate flavor with shrimp cafe tastes awesome. Or I make our shopping annuity coffee with the cappuccino flavor. And it okay. turns out into like a frappuccino, kind of like a latte, mm -hmm. um, you know, not too sweet. And so, yeah, like, oh. like mix the, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or you can blend it for in the summer with uh, the yeah. chocolate flavor, uh, Tiala's sh uh, nutrition shake and put yeah. in some banana with some ice. And that yeah. becomes like a, like way better than Starbucks frappuccino. Yeah, I, I have a shake every morning. It's the, the chocolate TLS shake with the mocha tonics with uh, banana in it, a couple ice cubes, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, in the greens. You have a scoop of the, right. the greens in there. Guys, guys how, good, how good is our shopping nudity coffee, man? I mean, like that so is- So amazing. You know, yeah. at first I was a little skeptical. Got it, you know, it's white, um, you know, just a, a, a white cap, like very plain looking. And, yep. Uh, um, when I tried it, I, I'm not a big coffee guy. I wasn't a big coffee guy, but when I tried it, I was like, man, this is really tastes like the premium, like the good stuff. And so I tested it. Hey, what's up, oh. Chad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I, I tested it with, um, I tested my dad. My dad drinks coffee a lot. Uh, so he mm. likes to buy like the, the K cups for, you know, like, different, different brands like Tim Hortons and all that. Um, so one day he bought, he, he was visiting, he bought, you know, his brand and I just put the shopping nudity coffee right there, like right in front of it. And, um, and, and one day I just pushed it closer to the front. He grabbed the first one. He tried wow. it. Then I was counting his, his coffee. Um, since that day, he didn't drink his own coffee. Wow. Wow. Nudity brand. It's good. It, it's good stuff. That's so awesome. would, would you say the product has, um, became a, you know, such a smooth transition for you to share the shopping annuity concept. Uh, once your family and people around you love the products, it becomes natural, right? Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. Once they once they try, it. the trick is you got to trick them to try it first. <laughs> Sometimes. Exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 And Wayne, what about you? You got a lot of testimonials, you and your families as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I saw the business uh, with Open C3 uh, because since I was young. Uh, I have asthma, like very severe asthma. Uh, I remember when I was young, you know, my dad has to uh, carry me to the emergency room. Uh, thank God it's only five minutes away. Like, I, we, we went there like twice a week. It was that bad. Uh, mm. I tried a lot of medicine uh, and medication in Hola with me all the time, but nothing really worked. Uh, mm. But you know, before I started the business, uh, one of my senior partner also had this kind of problem. So he shared with me, you know, try OPC, all right, and vitamin C. And actually, you know, after trying for a few months, you know, can see the frequent frequency of getting the asthma uh, is getting uh, lower and lower. So that's the time that I really see the difference. Uh, mm -hmm. At the same time, my dad uh, also benefit a lot because he's uh, uh, lo loves to eat and uh, mm -hmm. he doesn't care whether it's TOS in, uh, approved, right? Yep. Uh, so, you know, I, uh, unfortunately, he got into the uh, emergency room, you know, t taking that bypass surgery. So after okay. that, you know, thank God, you know, he went, uh, we found out early. So he was able to go off the hospital within five days. Uh, wow. But he has to be on the medication uh, for the rest of his life based on his doctor. But with our fish oil, you know, right. uh, that really can help him to get rid of two thirds of medication. Wow. So that's the time I really see the uh, tremendous uh, improvement from the products that really help me um, and also my family. Wow. What? Oh, my goodness. So his, did he go through with the bypass surgery? Uh, I'm sorry. Did he do the surgery? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And he was and on only five days. Uh, it cost my family $50,000. Crazy. <laughs> that's insane. Right. Yeah. So we all are working hard, but hey, working hard, we also need to be aware of our health at the yeah. same time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, wake up call too for that. You know, I mean, it, there's you kind of always think you have like unlimited time, unlimited time, but to have a wake up call like that, where it's like we need to take yeah. this seriously and get it done, that's good. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I remember I think at product symposium one year, Dr. D, uh, Deidre Mason has always talked about. Uh, why it's worth it to, you know, invest in our health, right? Prevention is way more important than intervention. So did you know that $1 you invest in health supplements uh, will save you $200 in the future 
with medication. Wow. Yeah. Can you repeat that one more time? The one dollar you invest in uh, health supplements in prevention, yeah. right? will save you $200 from future medical bills. Wow. What? Okay. All right. So right from the get-go, you're making, you're saving money. We're saving money. And wow, everyone is uh, <laughs> getting their aloe and uh, mm -hmm. fish oil. <laughs> yeah, we talked about the fish oil. I didn't have mine today. So <laughs> there it is. And that's hilarious. Um, but you see right away, I think just uh, sharing our own stories um, is always, we say retailing, uh, people always go straight to, okay, are we, we're selling stuff. But, mm. you know, do we all agree that retailing is just retelling our stories, right? Yeah. Um, like my family, actually, I'm not sure if you guys knew this, uh, but my mom, uh, Min Liu, she actually started this business 20 years ago simply because of the products. Um, because my grandma had 48 years of diabetic history. Um, so with diabetes, it comes with a lot of complications, um, medications. So she's got like double bypass surgery done before uh, on so much medication. So uh, five insulin shots a day, which was horrible. So we uh, were actually use, uh, able to use our supplements much more natural way with the TLS lifestyle um, to actually you know, help her drop two thirds medication mm -hmm. and reduce from five insulin shots down to only one insulin shot a day. Wow. Uh, so that was already life changing. And it was just um, the quality of life for my grandmother uh, the past 17, 18 years had been just way better. Um, so my mom also lost 25 pounds with TLS mm. and she became a walking advertisement. Uh, so in her in her very first few weeks, almost everyone that came to contact, she didn't have a lot of friends, but yeah. she was able to, she had like five friends uh, to begin with, but literally five people on her names list. But yeah. because she uh, used three months of TLS and mm -hmm. every week she was able to share the a business and the products to someone because the products work, she was able to recruit one person a week for the first five weeks. Wait, what, how's that? Okay. So was it her five friends that first that one person a week? Yep, because yeah, everyone everyone was observing her for three yeah. months, um, and then they all knew my mom was very trustworthy. Yeah. So they yeah. always say, "What are you using? What are you using? You lost weight," and she mm -hmm. always tell them, "I'm using those great supplements, but let me finish my three months uh, trial and let, I'm I'm gonna let you know how I feel." So mm. three months later. When people ask her about the products, she said, not only the product uh, is amazing, there's also a great business plan behind it. So if oh. you are interested in learning about this program, I'd love to show you, bring your husband or wife, whoever, sit down and book a time. So, you know, oh, the products, hey, yeah. This is my hero, um, man. Yeah. I, got, I got the Minlu t-shirt, the lunchbox, I got, I got uh -huh. the <laughs> <laughs> um, But really for myself, Three months prior to starting the business, she was trying the product out first, right? Like, is that what she, you're saying? She, well, she did start a business because of the products for her oh, right. and my she grandmother. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, so mm -hmm. she did, you know, first three months, I guess the, mm -hmm. the most important thing, that's also a tip that I give to a lot of our uh, yeah. distributors as well, is mm -hmm. you really do want to become a product of the product, right? <laughs> you got to build that belief. Um, yeah. And if you, whoever that changes themselves the fastest uh, will obviously build the business the fastest because mm -hmm. people see your change and it speaks for itself. Right. Mm -hmm. and it, it does, what I've noticed too is it doesn't have to be all the products. Like I think people get so overwhelmed when they come in because we have everything. Mm -hmm. um, right. The best part about shop.com is we have everything. Mm -hmm. But the worst part about shop.com is we have everything. So people uh -huh. yeah. right. So they don't even know where to start, so they kind of get over. I'm like, man, let's find right. three products that you just love. That like, right. like, like I talk about Mocha Tonics, you're so right, Olivia. That is a love-hate product. People love it or they hate it, uh, and they're very outspoken about it. But those that love it really love it. So I want people to try that. I want people to try, you know, as an owner, I use everything. But there's certain things that I'm kind of like, eh. There's other things that I absolutely love that I got a great story behind. Like, like uh, Andrew was talking about the shopping annuity coffee. I love it so much. I, I make sure I have it 
at my mom and dad's house because they don't drink caffeinated coffee. Uh, they're mm -hmm. only caffeinated. But I'm going to make sure I have those, those cure cups at their house as well. So when I'm at their house, I'm not drinking crappy coffee. I drink my shopping <laughs> coffee. So <laughs> I think people love, and I think it's important to find what you love out of the thousands and the ocean of everything we got. Right. Find easy for you to share because you're excited about it. When you're excited about it, passion sells. Um, that's right. what really boiled down the story. It's really just excitement. It's passion. It's something that's intriguing. So if you have passion behind a product, you're not really selling it. You're just kind of sharing it. Now, now I, I just want to bring up another point is that, um, so it's not, you know, not everybody sees the result of the product right away. Right. You know I mean? We got, right. we got kind of, we kind of got lucky because, you know, like if, if Frank didn't try to poison me with the peanuts, like I wouldn't have, um, <laughs> I wouldn't have, you know, had that much belief in, in the product. Uh, so what do you what do you say that I'm sure we got partners on our teams as well that you know try the product and man it's good but I don't feel the difference and um, what do you do where where else can you find you know knowledge like that's the topic of tonight right like we, right. we want knowledge and uh, and where where are the resources that that can prove it absolutely so um, I think you know I, uh, it's actually interesting. And that also will help us to back up the fact that um, a lot of people say, how do you guys young people share uh, the products? Mm -hmm. How do you guys do retail? And, you know, right. I don't think anybody uh, health concerns nowadays is not age based. Do you agree? Like, yeah. you know, myself had allergy. Now I'm allergy free. And all, mm -hmm. all of us had that testimonial. So um, I guess we can, you know, not only again before we move into more of the what to learn how to learn the knowledge um mm -hmm. again the shopping in the new lifestyle you know having the knowledge builds that belief uh, and the posture because you know as a consultant um i guess what, what do you guys see in terms of you know some people become a great consultant they provide mm -hmm. products and they listen and then yeah. some some people end up becoming very pushy sales like jr says people hate to be sold but love to buy. Do you guys think that also relates to how much knowledge they have in terms of the products they represent? Hmm. I totally agree. And I was thinking about that, you know, everyone has been talking about knowledge is power. And mm -hmm. I, I think knowledge is just like, if you're a coach for a basketball team, right? Uh, every coach doesn't only have one strategy for mm -hmm. all the players, right? They have hundreds of thousands of uh, strategy for each situation. And that's yeah. why that make them become a good coach. Right. So that's exactly why, you know, when we are becoming a shopping consultant, you know, if we know our product inside out, we are able to match the product to people, people to product. And like Andrew mm -hmm. talked about what everyone is not having the results that they yeah. expect. Not because our product is not good enough. It's yeah. because we don't know the products well enough. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. And but that's yeah, but at the same time, right, even if you do know the product well enough, let's say you know it so well, you can still come off as pushy and salesy because you believe in it so much. Like that's that's what, um, what I'm thinking. Like if you know the product so well, you believe in it so much, then when you're selling it, you could come off as, you know, too pushy or... Or too technical or too scientific. Right. Um, right. That's actually a great concern because I think... Um, a lot, that's what we want to talk about later on tonight as well. Like, you know, when to use the information is also very mm -hmm. important. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. Because yeah, there's that tension. Because I see some people come in. Um, I got some people on my team that are amazing with product knowledge. And yeah. I'll pull them on the phone to share their, their knowledge with somebody. But yeah. they don't have a strong retail game because it's all about the knowledge. It's all about the facts. It's all about the percentage of all this stuff. And you know, kind of secretly, my parents have this amazing retail business. And mm. one line I learned from them was the words, I don't know. Mm. Uh, it, it flows off their mouth so easily, even if mm. they know the answer. They, mm. My favorite retail phrase I ever learned from them was kind of a hidden little gem I found was they yeah. always say, I don't know. All I know is, and they relate it back to a story. Because right. the person cares about the fact that it's going to work for them. And wow. so if they're coming at you with questions, question, questions, all they're really asking if you boil down that question is, well, Does it work? And so if you can come back with like for the for the new person that's listening, I mean, I think everybody should gain in their knowledge, mostly just because of the confidence. So in that mm. same book, my parents' phrases, I don't know. All I know is 
they also are amazing product, like product knowledge. They don't want to tell you this. This is like their secret, like, you know, like their little hidden secret, but they're really, really very knowledgeable about our products. You right. think how years they would have to be, but they also, I still hear them say, even though they know the answer, they recognize the person that asking the question they're actually asking. And so right. person, a tool to have in your back pocket is the phrase, I don't know. All I know is, and come back with a story because a lot of times that will help you. So if you're intimidated by, like, I'm very intimidated by the knowledge. I am pr definitely the only person on this call so far that does not have a college degree. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> graduated high school, that's as far as I went in the education process. Um, right. My favorite phrase but I ever learned is- It's I overrated, know. you know that, right, Colton? Yeah. And that's probably why you're <laughs> you're probably making the most uh, out of everybody at that age. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> I've got my degree oh, sitting in my basement. <laughs> um, so actually, that's I hope everybody picked uh, picked up that phrase that's because that's very very powerful, especially if you're brand new. Uh, mm -hmm. As you're building your product knowledge, uh, you do want to definitely you know uh, be able to leverage whether it's a third party or your own testimonial or yeah. somebody else's testimonial, right? Like everybody said. Um, I don't think we will end up having a powerful testimonial on every single product because we all have different health uh, challenge. Yeah. However, you can collect as many testimonials from other people. Uh, right. So when I talk about um, the asthma regimen, I will refer them to Wayne, right? When I talk about a food allergy, I can refer them to Andrew's story. So, yeah. you know, being the one-to-one -one marketing, I think the key here is um, besides the knowledge, the the leverage um, and the, the resources we have, we still have to come back to listening. Right. That's yeah. You know, yeah. I think learning like the five second commercial, like right. I, I, I call it like the water ski or maybe like the snorkel version of a of majority of our products. Like I kind of know the snorkel version of debt shredder, but if somebody yeah. starts at me on it, I'd be like, dude, I don't know. All I know is mm. right, that helps a lot of people. Um, get out of debt. I'd love to connect you guys and I connect them to a debt shredder person on my team that I'm connected with um, Agree. Or if it's a Nutrametrics thing or if it's whatever it is, I'm not an expert in hardly anything I have free products that are very easy for me to sell. I'm really good at it um, uh, That's kind of the majority of my market But if somebody has a question outside of that one-to-one -one marketing, I, I connect the story to the person that has the problem Great and meanwhile that. You, still, you still learn about the product, right? Okay, so let me get this straight. So what you guys are saying Learn knowledge about the product to build up confidence so that you have the confidence to share about it. Right. Testimonials or stories around the product when you're actually having the conversation. Absolutely um, agree. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, great. Great point. Yeah. Great, great point. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if we can move, yeah, exactly. So, you know, you can start off with a story and mm -hmm. answer a question with a story and, you know, uh, to close the sale with a story as well, right? Because people are emotional buyers. Um, so, yeah. I mean, for, you know, I guess in But do bulk, you guys feel that the customer today, uh, I don't know, I'm throwing this out there, do you guys feel that the customer today is different, a little bit different than the customer, say, five, 10 years ago? Um, just because of the evolution of, of the internet and having, you know, Dr. Google and, and, and all of this information at your fingertips, do you think, you know, people are looking more at at at, at ingredients, features, um, and stuff like that nowadays compared to back then. I don't know the answer. I would say for sure because mm -hmm. of the abundance of knowledge, people are right. more well educated on health information. And yeah. however, that also requires us to be able to become a, a real, really good listener and provider, and say different personality, how right. should I provide that information to them? Right, okay, got right? it. Right, so then features mm -hmm. and benefits and stories. So, yeah. you know, I usually like to have our team to basically learn the product knowledge in terms of features and benefits, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. your own stories. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure we've all had that uh, four quadrants of the personality, right? Andrew brought it up like on the first week, Yes. So for an analytical person, right, it would work better if we have send them something with uh, the science background, which is mm. features, mm -hmm. right? So what makes our product special? So before I have everybody chime in, so I guess features is what makes our product special, right? Right. It's kind of like 
you know, rather than calcium from every brand, why should I choose isotonics? Totally. Right? So the isotonics is the feature, our delivery system, right? It's the key selling point here. For people who are, you know, maybe more like a supporting yellow personality, uh, blue personality, more people oriented, maybe mm -hmm. they just want to hear benefits. What is it good for me? Right. And maybe they it's just want to be like, okay. Yeah. Um, sorry. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. So, and maybe for a red dominant personality, you might want to just be like, here's the link, make your own decision. Hmm. Yeah, that's really good. It, it, I think that'd be a, like Andrew just said, that'd be a great episode for us to go into just on selling two different personalities or presenting two different personalities. Cause there's yeah, totally. That would be a fun conversation. That'd be a great conversation to have. <laughs> And yeah. that that will be curious to find out what everybody thinks they are color wise, and then what we think you are color wise, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. That would be interesting. Yeah. All right. Something to think about. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Wayne, Wayne, do you? I know uh, we actually work very closely in terms of like product duplications and such. I mean, do you have some tips uh, in terms of how you were able to uh, learn the products and have so much knowledge with it, and how it benefited you with? Uh, your business. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. And I would say, you know, we also talk about it, you know, with the uh, abundance information right now and on the internet. If mm -hmm. you really want to learn, you can learn everything. At the yeah. same time, we have so many product training, everything that you, we can learn from. But I feel like what make a difference for me is about a year ago, I made a decision. You know, we always talk about, you know, you have to make that decision. So mm -hmm. I made a decision that, you know what, I need to learn about the products not other people you know i have few people who are great retailer you know but i cannot rely on my business to them and at the same time if i want to develop a team uh, is is product oriented i mm -hmm. have to start from myself yeah. so i think the most of the thing is we have to make that decision everything starts from myself mm -hmm. so a year ago i started you know, and also doing the ABC training, a uh, small group training with Olivia. So I have to give the credit to Olivia, you know, because, you know, you see some people who are very health oriented and who really love the products. And mm -hmm. one thing I learned from, and also my wife, Christina, is the same. You know, a lot of times that we feel like, you know, we, uh, a lot of times we, we feel we are tired and everything, and we might just go to bed and not taking products, right? Mm -hmm. but, my, uh, my my wife, you know, my Christina, you know, Christina, yes. you off the bed and then taking the products and yell at me, hey, did you take your products? Right? <laughs> so that really shows the love forward to the products. Yeah. So go back to, you know, the original question, how did I learn? Change my mindset first. Right. Hey, I love the product. Product is part of my life, part of my habit. So I start learning more about the features, about right. the benefits. Where, where do you go to learn the stuff, the features and the benefits? Like, where do you well, learn from it? Yeah, like, franchise, if you're just typing, you know, main health, it mm -hmm. lists down all the paper, uh, papers and the studies and everything. Right, okay. Time, you know, like we talk about with the product trainings, right? Yep. Uh, with product trainings, you can learn a lot of things. At the beginning, I just went, but, you know, real, I realized it's so important. Uh, at the same time, I, I go to YouTube to learn about, you know, the, how the disease What's the cause of the disease and mm. match that disease to our products? So I understand right. more how to match the product to people. But I, right. I think mainly is through uh, the general product training. And yeah. uh, next month, we are going to product symposium. Mm. So you're going to the, uh, the East Coast one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So awesome. to be honest, uh, since I started the business, I never ever miss a product symposium. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, at the beginning, right? college for sure. Yeah. So yep. the knowledge just keep building up, building up, and building up. So Wayne, you mentioned last year there was that big shift for you where it went from you know somebody else's business to it became your business, and especially mm -hmm. when it came to the products and stuff. What kind of caused that shift? Because one one thing I'm sure Andrew and Olivia and everyone else notices is people can kind of draft off of somebody else's business for for a certain amount of time. They can probably mm -hmm. hit executive coordinator. Um, if they just time everything out perfectly, maybe master coordinator, but in order to get professional coordinator, it really needs to become your business where you're the, you're, you're the top. You see yourself as the top. You don't see yourself as part of somebody else's grand scheme. It's like, this is my business from me down. And you take mm -hmm. yes. ownership. So I'm always yeah. fascinated by that, that shift in someone's mindset of, you know, kind of a customer or part of somebody else's team to also to became their team. 
what was that shift like for you? What kind of caused that? I think it's have a more clear picture about what kind of team culture that you want to have. Mm -hmm. So once when the the direction is correct, you figure out the how. Mm. So uh, about a year ago, I decided, hey, you know what? What makes residual income really solid, right? And the the answer is our slogan: we build on product powered by people. Yep. Mm. So I did go to a lot of trainings, GPT product symposium, but I did not try to own the information. Mm. So I my uh, mindset from um, passive, you know, I'm just going there for going there with the team. I can learn as much as I want, but I go there with a proactive mindset. Hey, who else can I, you know, uh, help with their health? And I think another uh, shifting is I become more interesting about health. Mm. This industry, I. Mm. It's like what we talked about last time with the top shop, you know, be generous, you know, genuinely knowing other people when you do prospecting. Right. Mm. We also need to be genuinely knowing about other people's health, what we can really provide instead of making that sales. Right. And, I, and for me, I have hard time at the beginning, you know, for retailing because I feel like I'm making money out of my friend. But right. I start my mindset, I was like, you know what? I can never become a millionaire by selling this. So what what's the point for me to worry about that? You know, I'm gonna make too much money. But sharing this, you know, I am really helping this person to ex extend their life extent. Uh, Absolutely. Expectancy. I love it. Yeah. I love that. I I think like one one of the things I'm gonna start doing, um, you know, is learning not just about the product but learning about an ingredient you know like yes we, you know, we got we got like technology and all in a couple exactly. of things exactly yeah so I, I i don't know about you guys but I, I i'm thinking that could be a good way to really be more well versed instead of saying oh what this product does yes um, you might come across smarter like saying what this ingredient <laughs> right <laughs> i love how you put it come across smarter <laughs> yeah you come across smarter knowing what exactly what the ingredient is i mean sometimes people are looking for that uh say uh, you know that 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 safety right like that, that yeah issue. actually i think that's a big shift i see um at least from uh, my own customers and also just uh, uh, referrals because i guess what we want to really achieve is uh, not only to become a good consultant to have right. customer then the next step is to really help them benefit and they return. Hmm. We want loyal, right? Returning yeah. customer. Then the next level up is when they actually refer us customers, then yeah. I'm not sure if you guys have referral customers. When they get referral customers, they are ready to buy. Anything yeah. you recommend, they're ready to buy. So right. that's, that's where we want to get to is people leading us to people. And when they refer us customer, isn't that what JR talks about? The no decision close, right? It's you're already making the business happen. Oh gosh, that's that's ABC pattern, but with products. Exactly. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I think, you know, a lot of us are, are um, you know, limiting our, what's that called? Distribution channel, uh, mm. because we really do have to understand that our business is the product and mm. the product is our business. So mm. if we put that kind of priority in terms of um, understanding the products, really becoming professional and, right. uh, you know, to um, to provide rather than to sell. And mm. that way, just, you know, pr product will lead us to so many more exposures uh, because not everyone's ready to make a, a change in their life, but everybody wants to have more energy, to have better quality sleep, et cetera, right? So, right. Yeah. Um, and I think, Andrew, if you can move back to the uh, PowerPoint, I just wanted to really quickly, like Wayne talked about, I think um, for a lot of, especially younger population, millennial, and, you know, we just, people always say, oh, how do we sell to people? You know what? If you represent the products correctly, imagine uh, mm -hmm. we can tap, tap into the young crowd, the parents crowd, and everybody. Yeah. So the OPC page, uh, I just wanted to maybe like use this as uh, it's our number one selling products, right? Okay. And, you know, everybody who's briefing should be using our OPC3 because it's, you know, the strongest antioxidants. And I've listed out, um, you know, several benefits, right? So, you know, I just wanted to maybe give our uh, new business partners like a, a quick tip is you do want to think about who you're presenting these products to, right? Mm. So for a technical people, 
they may already know what grape seed extract does. They also know what red wine can do for you. So then rather than selling them on, you know, the benefits, maybe for some really uh, health oriented people, you can talk about the features first, right? You need to catch their attention in the first like 20, 30 seconds of the conversation so that you need to know what they want to hear. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and for people who are maybe like younger people, we have no idea what uh, antioxidants really do for us. Then let's start with the benefits. You right. see, the first half is the benefits and the second half is the, uh, you know, basically ingredients. And what's the feature? What makes us special? Obviously, you've got to be able to talk about the isotonic versus tablets um, difference. And yeah. I, do you all use the video on um, our YouTube channel? with um the isotonic delivery yep i yep. pretty much strictly use videos <laughs> that's yep I, my, my dad always said if you're if your mouth is moving it should be pointing towards the tool so i've always I absolutely <laughs> agree that's one of my biggest takeaway from your mom and dad for sure like right. fill up your time yep and um we also Isaac, listed well wow. huh? andrew that's yeah. is that how you build your social media like Drinking your isotonic out of the wine glass and uh, no, this, this I saw red wine extract, so I thought uh, to make it more, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Wow, I think we all need to, you know, visit you in Toronto. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll join you. I got some red wine right here, ready to go. <laughs> and uh, uh, you well, Colton, you need to drink 200 bottles of that red wine in order to have one cap of our resveratrol. I did Did not know that. Wow. (laughs) So that's only your first bottle, right? So. Yeah. My cut, my TLS cut, I'm on the, the find your fit challenge thing right now. She would not be happy that I even showed you that I even have this in the house. (laughs) That's okay. She's probably not watching. Yeah. There you go. Hopefully not. (laughs) Stephanie. Yeah. (laughs) Right. So yeah. I mean, what's your favorite uh, go-to sources uh, for, you know, product knowledge, uh, I personally love the reviews on shop.com. I love the YouTube videos. Um, and I, you know, obviously cannot wait to go to product symposium. Yeah. I, I think my favorite uh, resource is hangouts like this. Like, you know, learning mm. is where you learn the stories around it. Um, and also, you know, through conversation, I was talking to uh, somebody yesterday. Holy crap, time flew by this for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> it really uh, did. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I just want to say real quick, uh, we are one of the very few companies that ha- that publish like the uh, the clinical studies, mm-hmm. um, and 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 you know we have all these like resources available. So if you have any uh, any people that want to look into the science of it, the, uh, all the all the uh, things that have been published, all you could gotta do is scroll to the bottom, copy it and paste it, and you've got the 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 actual paper. Here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I think a key Powerful. thing to realize about our products, and this is, I really lean heavily on this in my in my sales pitches, is that we weren't a company that identified a product and then created a marketing plan behind it. We were created by a mathematical genius that found a, a marketing plan that paid out the most dollars to the most amount of people, and right. then funneled in the best products. So what we've done is we've sought the world over for the best ingredients, the best products, and we're only finding the best products, but we're not tied down to a product. If all exactly. I, if, I found, if I found some magic goji berry drink or something that, that is a phenomenal product, and then I built a company around that, my identity is wrapped up in the product. Agreed. But, you know, there's been several times in, in, in my parents' career that we've lost a number one or a number two or a number three top product, mm-hmm. and our company still had more sales the next quarter than it did the previous quarter. Because yes. we're not identified by a product, we're identified by a system. And then we yeah. just bundle in the best products because we're identified by the system. So we're not identified by a product. We're able to bring on mm. what is the best products. What That's why we bring on the, the, the studies is because they're well-studied products because we have product experts that go out to find the best products so we can funnel the dollars into that's a system. That's a great point. Yeah, yes. like, yeah that, 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 that actually answers a lot of the concerns when we, yeah. you know, people are just drilling on, you know, how can you tell this is the best product or can you guarantee that? That's a great answer. Mm. Right. It's, <laughs> gosh, that's nuts. All right, guys. So let's Olivia, you put together really- for us. These are 
Yep, yeah, some of the resources. Um, did you guys know that on franchise.com now has a lot of beautiful infographics and um, health, um, you know, information not related to a specific product, but it might just talk about men's health or it talks about women's health. So these mm -hmm. literatures are great for us to leverage on social media. And mm -hmm. uh, we can also basically uh, use these to invite people to a wellness event. Uh, just mm -hmm. be like, who do you know that might be interested in learning more about men's health, women's health, uh, skin health? Right. So definitely look it up on, on franchise.com. If you just type in, you know, the key uh, words that you want to look for, the infographics and the right. documents, everything are in there. So great to leverage. Gotcha. And um, I yeah. love how they put it all in on franchise.com now, like um, instead of going to different different places to get it. Wonderful. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. shall we look into yeah. some of the popular questions that we have? Yes. Yeah. We've got two Ooh. questions that came in, but I think we kind of answered it uh, today. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the, the first one is uh, from an anonymous, uh, uh, an anonymous uh, person. Uh, how do you retail with little to no parental or family support? Any skills and tips? I think this question does not apply to Colton or Olivia because they had uh, eight you <laughs> your family needs the product. Well, it totally applies to me because huh? my entire family was already in the business. Yeah. So I could go to the retail. Yeah. They supported emotionally, but they wouldn't buy from us because they're already in the business. <laughs> I Wayne, feel you, Colton. Yeah. Wayne, how about you? What do you what do you think? I think my wife, Christina, has a perfect example of this. You know, mm -hmm. everything starts from ourselves. And uh, her dad wouldn't even start taking calcium from our own brand. And right. she will be like, you know, if your product works, there's no need for a doctor to be here, you know, around the world. But, you know, he took, uh, it took her two, uh, two years to really tell them, you know, when, when she go to the general product training, we take pictures. Why mm. calcium is great. Why mm. fish oil is different. Our brand from our other brand took her two years and start uh, starting that. Uh, he understands that wow, you actually know what you're talking about and what's the, knowing what's the difference. So right. when they are not supporting, doesn't mean they don't, you know, agree or won't support you in the future. Right. So that also goes to follow up with your customers and everything. You know, mm -hmm. our parents. They are definitely the people who love us the most. So right. if we can convert them to, you know, uh, customers, we can definitely com can convert everyone. But it, it does take time. It, it does take the information. You know, when we go to GPT, when we go to Fast Symposium, you know, you know, taking the picture for the doctors who are talking about calcium, talk about fish oil, talk about daily essential kit, right? So eventually, mm -hmm. these people can be converted, you know, and have more support. For your own business that's, that's so great good. yeah or even getting them to attend the gpt uh, that might... great yep all right awesome thank great. you Wayne. um next question after seriously deciding this is from ian from uh, perth australia uh wow. after seriously deciding to do uh the shop.com business how do you restart your business in terms of retailing especially after prospects and friends who saw your beginning as a fluff or a joke <laughs> Great question, yeah. though. A lot of people encounter that. Yeah. Um, was what would you guys say, Colton, Olivia? What do you think? You ever encountered uh, that? Yes. Well, actually, uh, I'll go first. I guess we have a lot of uh, business partners who obviously go from waiting to stable or from stable to go now. Um, I think you know to be very honest with your friends and family, right? Mm -hmm. Just to really let them know that. You know, honestly, you know, you've seen uh, me you know, maybe talk or, you know, I was in this business, but I wasn't really launching my business. Mm -hmm. So after a recent conference or a certain change, uh, and I decided that I really want to take this amazing opportunity seriously. And I personally, again, stories, I, I personally benefited the XYZ from certain products and it helped me to really change my health. And now I'm passionate about helping others to do the same. So, mm. and then maybe leverage the home shopping list, right? right? You know, that works great for young people. Hey, Colton, you know, I, I understand you, you're very careful with what you use and, you know, can you fill out the home shopping list? I mean, mm. do you see anything on this list when you're done? Would mm. you be able to support my business and switch over 
one to three products and let me know how you feel with them. I would totally appreciate your um, feedback. And I'm always, you know, we're always moving with the marketplace. So I really appreciate your help. Love you, it. Yeah. I, 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 I second that. Like when you said about like, you know, honesty is the best policy. Totally. I, I'd let them know up front and say, hey, I didn't know what I was doing. But yeah. let me tell you about this thing called pycnogenol I was reading up on. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and so actually get get your, your your butt to learning some of this knowledge, and and uh, I, I get into um, just mastering one or two different ingredients, and then say, hey, I, this is this is actually a really good ingredient. I can't believe we have it in our mm. product line. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Wayne, mm -hmm. Wayne, uh, last year you went through that that major shift when you when you went from you know shifting into that more that go now state. How did you communicate that to your friends in a way that allowed you to retail better? Uh, basically, I use more. You know, I actually have more confidence to use the product in front of them. So before they will be like, "Oh, why do you bring that?" But right now, I just feel like, "Hey, it's part of my life." Yeah. You either <laughs> use or you just shut up. Yeah. Right? Exactly. You I can watch. The ship is more confident. Yeah. yeah. It, plus, it's cool to take supplements now. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's what we really want to encourage everyone on. On this webinar to really capitalize on this huge growth in the health and wellness industry you know be uh be an advocate and uh people love and appreciate you sharing health information so don't be afraid don't feel that you're a closet distributor um yeah. use them expose them bring them and they when they ask you what's that you want especially right. friends and family um because this this you can create a really awkward tension sometimes because you kind of half-heartedly do something mm -hmm. and causes more accidents with cars hesitancy causes more accidents in every area of life and mm. sometimes the best thing you can do with friends and family is exactly like these guys said just be very confident mm. but don't chip away at the relationship where every time they see you you become like mr market america and that's all of it you know they, do, they talk about but there's never a real conversation right, right. Ask, it's a lot they're like my my best friend said no and it really hurt i'm like what are the, if, if, if you could flip the conversation around and now tell me from their perspective what do you feel like they said no to? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times they said no, but they didn't even know what they were saying. Like, like they're carrying the, the couch in and you're trying to pitch them OPC3. They're not like sitting down actually evaluating something. They're like half-heartedly doing something else and you're trying to throw these bombs at them and you feel very rejected and they didn't even mean to reject you because you didn't actually give them a pitch for something. So really yeah. work something to get their full attention. Um, do it with confidence because when you put something out there and you have confidence behind it, everybody else feels safer. When it's unconfident, there's kind of this unsure type thing. It causes more accidents, causes more pain, it causes more awkwardness later down the road. Right. So you're confident mm. with you, very confident with your um, with your products, and and it, you'll you'll notice that friends and family respond a lot better. Gotcha. For sure. Amazing. Awesome. Well, thanks for the question, Ian and uh, Anonymous. Like, if you guys have more questions for us, uh, just go to bit.ly forward slash ask talk shop. Um, we'll find it and we'll make sure we'll fit it in in the right week. But yep. uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap up here. Olivia, thank you so much for pulling over the site to uh, uh, you know to 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 go into a, a hotel and um, <laughs> a hotel lobby. <laughs> to call in. Uh, uh, but yeah, next week we are looking forward to this uh, next topic. Colton's gonna hit us up with mastering the approach. Can't um, wait. It'll be an awesome that topic. topic. Olivia, you got some closing remarks for us? No, just thanks very much, everyone, for putting this together. Uh, like I said, Andrew has um, yeah. done a lot of back end work, and of course, Colton, you know, just collective work. And a special shout out to Wayne yeah, Chan for Wayne. joining us this Wayne. week. Thank, Thank you so much for uh, having me. Thank you. Super, yeah. super, yes. super smart, Wayne. Yeah. Yes. All right. Super cool. good looking. Col yeah, super. <laughs> uh, Col Colton or Olivia, do you guys have a question for for our audience to po ponder on um, uh, this week? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I got your question for the week. Question for the week. The question to ponder. Write this down somewhere. Tape it to your mirror so you can think about it throughout the rest of the week. A lot of times people, this starts with the statement in the question. A lot of times people feel like they're really far away from their goals. They feel like I got to grow so much before I can get to my goal. And a lot of times it's usually only one thing that when it shifts in their life, everything kind of snaps into place. They had a lot of other puzzle pieces together. They put that last puzzle piece in and a lot of other things, they have exponential growth in a lot of areas. And it usually mm -hmm. it's a fear. So what this week I want you to think of, what's the one fear that if you conquered it, 
would shift the most things in your life? What's the one fear that's holding you back the most? If you got over that one fear, which everything else that you're doing and conquer it this week. That's the homework assignment. It's a question followed by the help, the homework assignment. What's holding you back? Yeah. And then do it. And you'll notice massive shifts in every area. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Colton. Uh, I did, you know, the thing that Olivia said last week to tackle your tasks, uh, your hardest tasks um, yeah. before 12. Um, I tried there a few days where I missed. I, I missed two days, but uh, even so, I felt way more productive last week than the week before. Oh, great to hear. Great yeah. to hear. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, right. so yeah, looking forward to see y'all again next week on the Talk Shop broadcast. Always looking forward to our hangout.